Hi everyone, Catherine here with Catherine's Plate where I like to keep things simple, easy, and delicious for you by using tried and true recipes that are loved by my family. Alright y'all, if you're a subscriber, I want to welcome you back and thank you for coming today. If you're not a subscriber, I want to thank you for coming to my show today and I hope that you will hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so that you know when my shows are posted. Today I am roasting a chicken and vegetables, all right, and I'm going to be using herbs and seasonings to do this, and you're going to see the most beautiful color on a chicken, and these vegetables are going to be roasted so beautifully. All right, y'all, I'm going to be using carrots, celery, I got an onion, I got two different types of potatoes. I've got baby red potatoes and I've got fingerling potatoes. I got a whole uh, bulb of garlic here. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. Now for the herbs, I have some sage, some thyme, and some rosemary. Now I can't wait until the weather starts changing so that I can go out there and start growing my herbs again because oh, I'm so anxious for that. All right, and with that, we've got some parsley, garlic powder, we've got some paprika, and then I've actually got the thyme, sage, and rosemary in a seasoning also. That way that can go into the secret ingredient, butter. <laughs> All right, y'all, I got my chicken here. I'm going to start with everything and get this thing going for you. All right, let's go. All right, so I've got a big pan here that I'm going to put everything in. I'm going to be roasting a lot of vegetables in here. So what I'm going to do first off is put a little bit of olive oil into the bottom of my pan, just a little bit, keep everything from sticking. I'm going to take a little brush here and just wobble the corners with it. That'll keep the vegetables from sticking to our pan here. All right, so y'all, I've got my oven preheating at 425 degrees also. All right. All right, so I have my potatoes here. Now I have little fingerlings, and these are the perfect size, so those are going to go right into the pan. And then I've got my red potatoes, and if they're a little bigger, I'm going to cut those in half. But, you know, if they're like little baby ones, I'll just pop them into the pan here. Alright, with the onion, I've got a red onion here and I've got a yellow onion and I'm just going to rough chop these. Looking good. All right, so I've washed off my carrots. Now, I didn't peel them because I want that rustic look with these, but I did scrub them really good. So I'm just going to take off the ends. I'm going to keep these large also. About the size of our potato, just like that. All right, so I have what's left of a celery that I had in the refrigerator. And it's got several stalks in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep all the leaves on there because that's going to be a really good aromatic in this dish here. And it's going to look really pretty too. So I'm going to keep it pretty large when I cut these, about like that right there. And then I'm going to go down one more right there. So I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to use it for something else later. All right, we're going to add this to our pan. We're going to put it in the center. All right, we're going to season these up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to get ready to put my herbs and that on top of my vegetables. Now I have rosemary sprigs. Now I've got the real rosemary sprigs here. I have sage. One, I just got one sprig here and I'm just going to cut it into threes. And then I've got some thyme here, three sprigs of thyme. I've got some parsley. That I'm going to sprinkle on there, and then I'm going to put some salt and pepper on top of the vegetables. All right, let's go. All 
All right, so here's all my seasonings that I'm going to be blending in with my butter. Now I have one stick of room temperature butter. So I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings. Now I have one teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, I got half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of black pepper, I've got one teaspoon of dried parsley, I've got half a teaspoon of some sage, I've got half a teaspoon of rosemary, and then I've got one teaspoon of salt. Now I've got regular salt and I've got some pink Himalayan salt in here also. I'm just going to take my fork now and just kind of blend it all together. All right, there we go. Okay, this is what I'm going to use to put on the outside of my chicken, and also I'm going to go up underneath the skin of my chicken with this. So I'm going to go ahead now and start loosening up the skin of the chicken. All right, so I've got my chicken here, and it's all nice and wiped off. And now we're going to take the breast side up. All right, this is how we're going to lay it in the pan. So you're going to start by pulling the skin very carefully and go with your finger, you see like that right there? And pull it and be gentle because we want that butter to stay up inside the chicken there. All right, so I'm also going to the legs and I'm just kind of getting into the legs there so all that butter inside will just melt all up into there. All right, so there's my leg and I'm just kind of loosening up the skin everywhere. All right, so now I'm going to take some of my butter mixture here and just push it in. Now you can use the skin also to help push, push, push it in there, right? Okay, just like that. Oh yeah, see how that helps it get down in there? Just what we were looking for. Now we're going to take the rest of it and we're going to cover the whole chicken with it. All right, so what's left of the butter mixture, I'm going to go ahead and put inside. All right, we're going to go ahead now and wash my hands really quick. All right, so now I'm going to cut a lemon in half. We're only going to use half of it. And then I'm going to cut a garlic clove in half. Now, uh, this is a garlic bulb. And I'm just going to cut the whole thing in half, skin and all. It's going to add so much flavor to that, y'all. Look at that. Mmm, oh my goodness, all right. All right, so we're going to put the lemon in there, put the garlic in there. There we go. Oh. All right, y'all, so we're ready to take our chicken here. And we're going to place him right on top of his bed. There we go. Alright y'all, I'm ready to put him in the oven. It's been preheating at 425 degrees. This will go in there for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. What we're looking for is an internal temperature of 165 degrees. All right, y'all, we'll be back as soon as we get a nice, beautiful color chicken here. All right, y'all, there is my beautiful golden chicken. And look, I want y'all to look at these, these vegetables, too, so I'm going to have y'all come up here. All right, y'all, look at these vegetables. Oh, my gosh, they are so done. The potatoes are kind of crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Oh, all right, y'all, I'm going to take my vegetables, and I'm going to plate them up and then put my chicken on top of it. All right, you know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to try this for you. Oh, look in there. It's on my plate. Oh, I even put my little rosemary twig on here just to pretty it up. All right. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. I 
I can taste all of that beautiful seasonings and herbs that went into that chicken with the butter. Mmm. It's so moist. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Alright, y'all. My vegetables. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, y'all. Mmm. Roast a chicken with vegetables, y'all. You saw how easy and delicious this was. Look at the color of that. Oh my goodness, right there. All right, y'all. I want to thank you so much for watching my show today. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so that you know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all. I will see you on my next episode. Ooh.